Do you ever find yourself wondering if our leaders understand what life is really like for you and I? Do you wonder if the politicians or uh, church leaders have a real grasp on how difficult life can be? When Paul was explaining to his Hebrew friends the incredible role that Jesus has in heaven, he had to spend quite some time explaining just how human Jesus became when he gave up aspects of his divinity to walk amongst us. Like us, Jesus had to learn. When Jesus became human, he had to shed or lay aside certain aspects of his divinity, like his omniscience, completely in its entirety. He didn't know calculus when he was a baby in the crib. He had to start from scratch. Jesus went from knowing everything and having nothing to learn to becoming one who knew nothing and had everything to learn. Everything. Obedience, suffering, the experience of learning itself was all new to him. In Bible times, priests cut themselves off from the ways of the world and they separated themselves so that they could draw especially close to God and lead others closer to God as well. But when we consider the high priestly ministry of Jesus, we see that he came down to this world to get as close to us as he could. Jesus could have simply appeared on the earth, died, and have been resurrected immediately, and salvation would have been accomplished. But instead, Christ chose to become one of us. He came not just to die for us, but to live for us. The Holy One became brother to the sinner. And this means that when Jesus stands in the temple in heaven as our heavenly high priest, offering his own blood on behalf of each of us, that Jesus knows what he is asking because he knows fully who he is representing. Jesus understands how weak pain can make us because he suffered the indignity himself and the scourging of the cross and was crucified. He understands the subtle but powerful attacks of the devil because he was tempted after his 40-day sojourn in the wilderness when he was at his very weakest. But even more than that, he experienced a temptation beyond anything we could ever imagine. What do I mean? Imagine how Jesus must have had to hold back when he was on the cross, and as he was there on the cross, knew full well that he had the power and ability to destroy everyone with a single thought, and go back to heaven if he so wanted, and would have been right in doing so. He could have said, let man die in his own sins. But Jesus held back for you and I. But even on the cross, Jesus prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He prayed for his persecutors. Friends, the high priest who lives for us and serves in heaven's sanctuary above for us today, he is no disconnected high priest. He's not an out-of-touch leader. He's a loving and compassionate high priest who can sympathize with every weakness that we have. He was truly tempted in all points like we are.